Staters, my name is Ty Cole, and I'm the new Director of Development and Alumni Relations here at the Penn State Shenango Campus. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy, and welcome to Ty Talks. This is a new feature for the newsletter that we're going to implement every month. Um, we're going to we're going to interview Penn Staters, friends of Penn State's, and members of the community to hear their Penn State story, to hear what they've done after graduation, to hear how they got to Penn State, to hear their their life now. Um, and the cool thing about it is we're going to feature one person a month. So this month. We are featuring Holly Masters. She's the co-founder of the Purpose Therapy Box, and she graduated in 2018. Uh, my name is Holly Masters. I currently live in Gustavus, Ohio. It's a really small farm town. I went to Penn State Chenango, and I graduated with my Associate of Science for Occupational Therapy in 2017. And then I also graduated with my Bachelor's of Human Development and Family Studies in December of 2018. I work as a certified occupational therapy assistant in Hermitage, PA, primarily with the older adult population. I work in like a transitional care, so we have a long-term section with uh, patients, and then we also have kind of like a shorter stay if somebody comes in for a surgery and stays for two weeks for rehab. We have that wing as well. And then I am co-founder and co-CEO of Purpose Therapy Box which Ali Izzo and I started in college at Penn State. So that is almost two years old. No, I'm sorry. It's two and a half years old now. Um, time flies. And then let's see, hobbies. Um, I have two dogs, Betsy and Eloise, two Boston Terriers. I love taking them on walks. And then I also bought my grandparents' old farmhouse. So I'm in the process of um, just kind of like rejuvenating that land and plans to build there. Um, Allie and I, prior to even starting Purpose, had watched the investment on WPSU. We'd watched all their seasons and we always thought like, this is so cool because it's like a Shark Tank pitch, but for Penn State students. And the um, launch box at the Penn State campus I just um, just kind of been introduced to Shenango so we we're like oh my gosh like what a cool opportunity for somebody that wanted to start their company little did we know like we were actually going to start a company but um, we found out about the invent or the investment pitch competition mm -hmm. through just a general email we're like, okay, like we'll put purpose in it. We had been in business for a little under a year at that point when we actually like launched or actually applied. Right. And right. it was the coolest thing. So we were able, I believe there was like 30 applicants. From there, they chose the top six contestants and they were all um, had a Penn State background and you had to pitch for one minute and then it was a five minute question and answer series with three judges. So three to four judges. Um, it was really cool. So we were able to meet prior and kind of get like coaching sessions with our pitch to perfect everything. Ali and I, when we pitch together, we do kind of like a tag team. So we switch back and forth. And then we switched back and forth with the questions as well. And we were the only female team there. And we were also the only one from a, like from the Commonwealth campus, so from Shenango that um, had ever competed. And we were in the top three. We were awarded the grand prize. We got $15,000 in funding. And then two other companies also got funding as well. So it was just a really cool opportunity that we were able to pitch like Shark Tank. And then we were also able to receive funding from that as well. I mean, OTA is what led me to purpose. When Allie and I were in our clinicals in 2017, we were, I was working in a nursing home and that was where I saw firsthand just the sadness and the loneliness and the disconnect between family. Either some of these residents didn't even have family members or they lived out of town or maybe they only saw each other like once a month. 
And that's a long time to go without having any connection with your family. A lot of them, you know, they don't have Facebook and it's hard for them sometimes to hear on like a cell phone. So we really wanted to figure out how can we help them without, you know, just therapy services. And that was where we, we found the idea for a purpose. So we are like, okay, they love receiving mail. They love tangible items that they can hold. So, you know, photos of their family, items that will help them like age in place and functional products. So, like we don't want to send things. They're just going to collect, um, collect oh, clutter. So um, that was where we kind of thought of the therapeutic background and the underlying themes within the box. And it's funny because when we launched in June of 2018, so we were both still in college, we had one semester left. And when we graduated in 2019, or 2018, um, in December, my graduation cap, it said like, thank you PSU for giving me purpose. And that was a double meaning too. This program helped me a lot and I applied for this when I was in my level two occupational therapy clinicals and originally my placement was so you have to work full time for eight weeks and that's an unpaid internship and pretty much wherever the therapist goes you have to go and meet them and you work alongside them they sign off on your notes and that's your learning experience. And originally my placement was just supposed to be in Majory, Ohio at a nursing home, which is super close and it's close to campus. So it was perfect because I had class on Wednesday nights. So I would go to work, like work at my clinical and then I'd go to class until 8.30. And um, when I originally applied for the grant, I was like, oh, I don't really know if I would apply or would, um, you know, like, would qualify fully because it was a shorter commute. Um, but then it turned out when I actually went to do the interview for Fuel for the Future, I was two weeks into clinicals and it was a traveling clinical spot. So I was driving to Kent, Ohio and Ashtabula, Austin Town. And you know, some of these were like an hour one way. So I was super thankful for the gas card because I really wasn't, I was working on the weekends, but between class and, you know, a couple hours on the weekends, the fuel card really helped, especially driving like an hour, two hours a day. I utilized tutoring. So when I was doing physiology, that was a super tough class for me to understand it's a lot to pack in to a 16 week program, but I always tell people like, don't be afraid to, you know, realize that you need help or that you need extra studying. So um, the tutoring center in the library was awesome for me. I did tutoring just like once a week and I was in a group setting so we could all bounce ideas back and forth. And I also, I worked in the fitness center at that time too. So as a fitness center attendant through work study, that was wonderful. I highly suggest work study to everybody. It was just a good opportunity when there was off times in the fitness center, you could get your classwork done, but you were still getting paid. So within occupational therapy, we have to have continuing education classes and you have to get so many credits for two years in order to renew your license. Um, I actually just recently create, or completed a traumatic brain injury course. And it's, it's really interesting because you get to choose which topic you'd like to learn about and earn CEUs towards. So um, some are online, a lot of them can be in person depending on the season. Uh, we were also supposed to go to our national conference for occupational therapy this year. It was in Boston. Um, so there's a lot of really cool education that goes on there. There's a lot of innov innovative products and you can see firsthand and talk to people within different settings. And then within Purpose, we've invested a lot this year within ourselves, mostly in marketing. So our marketing campaign actually kicks off um, next week. And that has just been the biggest learning 
process for the both of us, but I think it's gonna, gonna turn out well. So advice I would tell myself, probably three things. Number one would be, um, you know, just really value your relationships and value family and friends and memories over like mere materialistic things. Um, I've never been a materialistic person, but um, just I really value like memories and taking trips with people over buying things. Um, that I would say, <laughs> this is so funny, but um, trying trying salami sooner. I just found out about salami a couple months ago. It's so good. I don't know. I'm on a kick. Just apply for everything you can. And, you know, there's going to be so many opportunities that open up for you and take all of them. Even if you are like semi interested, make it worth your time and, you know, go. As far as advice for new students, I would say get involved. It's a small campus and I looked at that as a plus for me. I didn't really want to be surrounded, you know, by 400 people in an English class. So get to know your professors, get to know the other students, networking. I've made a ton of connections through the professors and through students that I had class with and getting involved. So, I mean, I took a trip to Belize through Penn State Chenango, you know, like you can travel the country and it was just so fun, but you know, I was involved in that. I was involved in occupational therapy club and then, you know, little things to the fitness center, getting involved at uh, the various events that they have and you guys hold all the time. It's a lot of fun. You can really make the most out of your experience, even though it's a smaller campus and, you know, you might be commuting. I would say my, my top favorite would be purpose. I mean, just actually, um, when we pitched our, our company, we had to pitch to get into the um, Invent Penn State, like our office. And when we officially like pitched our company, like we're doing this, you know, what do you guys think? Um, and the positive feedback, our first customer actually, the, I mean, within like 20 minutes after we launched, our first customer is actually Claudia Brown, which was our HDFS professor. So just having that support and knowing like somebody believes in us right now <laughs> was so nice. And we all, we still talk about it to this day, how just like nice and how much that meant to us to push forward. And then I would also say Belize, that was one of my top favorite. Uh, it was a service project trip, but just learning about their culture and seeing um, the different ways that they live and how they utilize all of their resources, it's incredible. Yeah, so um, my name is Exo Photography. I honestly do not know why I named myself that. It was like eight years ago, but that was when I started eight years ago and I started with my little cousin Elena doing her newborn pictures in like this luggage set and they looked so terrible <laughs> but um just to see how I've evolved from that so I do weddings now and I only take about eight weddings a year because I want to be able to get the pictures done within a timely frame but yeah it's grown so much this year has been so busy I did like sunflower pictures and now we're doing like fall mini sessions so it's been really exciting and I've met a ton of people through photos too. And it's just fun because every session is different and you can be creative in so many different ways. And then the people print your photos and they hang them up. It's like the best thing ever. And one of the sections of this interview that Holly touched on was Fuel for the Future. Um, that is our program here that gives gas cards to students in need that are traveling to clinicals or their internships. Um, and this month is October and our staff advisory council is has a goal to raise $2,000 for Fuel for the Future. So if you would like to donate, um, you can give now through the newsletter or contact me. Um, and if you'd like to reach out to Holly or learn more about the Purpose Therapy Box, please reach out to me at WTC5037 at PSU.edu. Thank you guys so much. Please stay healthy. We are. <laughs>